via the port 96, you are clear to run blind runway 27, wind 180, 10 knots. So because the data is now digitised, we can integrate it with other pieces of information. So ability to put that picture directly in front of them and it's just there. Um, the system tracks four pixels, so helicopters, drones, wildlife, um, the system can track all of that. So that, again, the benefits that, that gives to the controller is, is significant. Um, one of the issues that you don't always get in London is low suns. You know, it's not always sunny enough, but if you look at the, the screen on the far left. Well, where we are today is in the Nats uh, Air Traffic Control Centre in Swanwick, and the actual room we're in is a mock-up of what will become London City Airport's new digital control centre for managing the air traffic control uh, system within London City Airport. We, we, we will be the first um, major European airport to introduce a digital control system, air traffic control system. And what we're doing is we're replacing our old traditional air traffic control tower system. And that's for two re reasons really. The first one is our existing tower is 30 years old, it's getting to the end of its economic life. And we're about to kick off a major 350 million pound development program at the airport. And we're taking the opportunity to move London City Airport into the 21st century with regard to capabilities for a digital control system. So we've been working closely with NATS and with SAV Digital Control Systems and we're introducing a digital control tower to start construction at the end of this year, complete it by the end of next year and then to run it in parallel until the end of 2019 and then it will go live on its own for 2019. They will direct aircraft and planes in exactly the same way they do today, but what they will have is a whole range of, of new information to allow them to do the job even better than they do the, do the job today. So what the digital control system does is by combining inputs from uh, 14 fixed cameras and another, another two uh, rotate and tilt cameras and a host of sensors, they, they collate that information, put it all together, and they're, they're able to manage the, the, the coming and goings of aircraft more efficiently, more effectively. Well, firstly, I mean, you know, safety and security are the paramount concerns of any airport operator, and indeed of any air traffic control operator. So I'm absolutely confident that the system is safe, and I'm also confident that the system is secure. NATS have been operating air traffic control systems and the, the transfer of data in this way for decades and uh, you know they've done that very successfully and very safely. No chief executive is complacent today about the threats from cyber security. In fact in the last week or so we've seen a major issue arise for uh, the NHS but we are very confident that the systems we're putting in place here are secure, they're safe, they're managed very very well and we use the highest level of uh, cyber security in order to protect those systems.